Hello guys and welcome to episode 10. <clears throat> right, where's your truck cab you ask? Ah, well, if you remember at the last event, at the end of the last episode, we purchased our new truck and trailer, and there she is. We've gone man. It's a very manly thing to do. I've just drove around, I've just literally filled her up with juice. So we are now ready to go. Right, now, I'll be honest with you, I do actually prefer this from getting inside it. There's a lot more room in it and visibility is a hell of a lot better. So, let's take her out on the road and see what she's like. Once I can get her started. Ah, well. I almost said don't break down on me so soon. Right, let's have a look. Put you on driving time. Do that and that. And we should be good to go, people. We are on the road once again. Right, before I go much further, <coughs> I'll just tell you guys that we have got a new employee. And this is Sunny DeLong, everybody say hello to Sunny. And she's currently working her way to Logistics Hub and then she will be doing a delivery to Hamburg. Um, she's only got half a lorry load, but she's actually driving our old Scania truck. Um, Martin Potts, let's see what Martin Potts is up to. You see now I've got like little people. Marty's just loading up and he's on his way to Stuttgart. He's got, uh, he's actually loaded up. He don't mess about them, Martin. Right, now we need to sort out what we're going to do. So, obviously in the interest of everything, we're going to have to go to the cooperative, I know that much. Right, oh look at the prices. These prices are a lot better, guys. Would be nice if we could find somewhere to go where we can get a couple of loads in. Dortmund, how far is that? Hang on. Yeah, we can do Dortmund. We'll take that one out. Full does that make us? Oops. Whoopsie. Right. Um, let's have a look for us now. I believe I've just put Martin to come here when he's done that delivery. Never mind, Martin. It'll keep you busy, lad. <coughs> right, now let's do what we want. Um, Nuremberg with pigs. Now, that's not a bad one. Yep, we'll have that. Uh, let's see if we've got hotels to Nuremberg while we're, looking, while we're talking piggies. Run there, lot. Can we accept that one as well? That's, oh, it's still only 38% full, yeah, but for ages, yeah. Honest. You got anything else to Nuremberg? Yep, yeah, sub 24 there, look. How full are we now? 50%. I'm feeling lucky. Let's see if we've got another one. No, that's it. Right, so let's... Once again, people, right, let's make sure. Pick up, pick up, pick up, delivery, delivery, delivery. That'll do for me. Right. Oh, wrong button. Sorry about that. Right, let's go. And this pedestrian decides to move. Because we all know pedestrians are bad. See how this handles now. Well, it certainly seems to pick its boots up. I think this is a new experience for us guys, a few animals. 
because we're going to have to drive a lot safer. It's nice having the uh, the Arctic on. It's giving me a bit more of a ATS ETS feel now. It's quite nice. Right, which lane? Which lane? Which lane? Stay in this one. I think with a local in Berlin, I'd know my way around by now, but no. Not more chance of platin fog. One thing you'll learn about me, guys, is I'm terrible with direction and sense of direction. Just as a matter of interest, I wonder if actually the headlights are better on this. No. Just thought I'd try for nothing. You never can tell. Oh, brake, 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 brake. Brakes are not bad, mind. The old handbrake on two minutes while we sat waiting. Oh, Jesus. I tell you, they come shooting up the inside. I saw now Bruto lorries look, or Bruto. I mean, incidentally, I mean, somebody asked me uh, about customization. Now, I did have a look this morning and the only thing I've got is just this default paintwork at the moment so whether I unlock it at a later date or not I don't know whether I have to download it I will have to look into that guys and see what's happening with the old paintworky thing I know you can put different skins on but uh, I just seem to be stuck with this one at the moment for some reason Maybe something I'm doing wrong, but like I said, we'll have a look and see what we can sort out. So to get the impression when you look at the man dashboard that it was sort of, oh that's close enough, that'll do. Um, just things like when I've just put the indicators on there, the indicator looked bigger than what the spaces if it makes any sense looks like it goes behind the dial oh we're nearly here so if you just keep an eye on that indicator when I put it on looks like the bottom bit of the indicator is missing under the dial doesn't it mm, could have just been shrunk down that little bit more I think just make it look a bit more authentic I don't know that maybe what it's like in real life we're going to the country war. Well, not quite to the country. Oh, that's where we load up. There we go. Straight for it. I wonder if we can. Yes, we can, I think. Let's go around this. This little loop and see if we can just flick us the right way around from. In fact, it's actually sending us this way up sat now. I've obviously got some sophisticated one-way system in place here. Right. Let's see what our reversing in the truck's like. Don't blindside straight away. Well, I can also say I can't see a bleeding thing. It's better. Oh, we we think so. I hit something, man. Let's try that again. 
Welcome to episode 10 where Roy backs a truck up, eventually. I think we've got that one a bit better, guys. There's one thing I'll not miss, the squeaky doors. No, I'm still off to one side. Oh, let's put it in gear first, that's the one. Shall we just try it from mirrors and see if that does us a better job? completely opposite way now. I'm a newbie on one of these trailers, you've got to give me a break guys. It says, I've been logged so many hours in on ATS. And ATS. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, she's going to be tight. <laughs> I can't believe this is going to be episode 10. Showing my driving skills off. It's very tight just to get in here. I mean, you've got to give me a break, guys. It is my first time in one of these trailers on this game. I'll just add right let's go and see i mean incidentally i mean somebody did say to me the outside view when you're walking around is a bit strange well to be honest with you i found that myself it looks a bit goldfish ball hang on do you think it'd be a good idea first to open my back doors right so right on. this is different Now, do we have to open these? I knew something would have to squeak. Right, let's get our piggies. Yeah, we'll sign for them. Thank you very much, sir. It's me, the famous Mr. X. Oh, look, pigs in space. Pigs in lorry. These are well-trained pigs, you know. I hope we're all sitting comfortably at the front. Oh, some have already gone upstairs. Some want to be on upstairs deck. Ah, well. The pigs went on one by one, hurrah, hurrah! <sighs> Wait while games finish morphing pigs. Oh, I don't believe we've done. Oh, no, we've got some more. God knows where I'm putting all these pigs. Oh, they're running through me. That's freaky. I know the pack have been tight, but Jesus, look at the size of the pigs at Murray. Mm. And I've got two decks. Is that it, that all? Oh, no, no, no. We've got the fernal, fernal, final batch now.
Sorry, have we done now? Right. And it looks like we've got two pigs in there now after all that. Oh, what's that? Don't get your chin. Right, let's deliver our lorry full of pigs that don't appear to actually be there. Ah, oh, there they are, though. Hey, piggies. Shh. They actually shrink down once they get inside, look. It's the incredible shrinking drug. There we go. Anyway. Right. We have got seven hours left, so let's get on the road, guys. I'm on the road again. Incidentally, guys, drop me a line. Let me know what uh, what you're thinking of this series so far. I know majority of you think it's quite good. I mean, I'm certainly enjoying playing it, guys. I honestly am. Right, can we get straight out? He says. I can't see nothing now from my pillar. Yep, we can. Let's go. Oh shit, there's a car coming now. Thank you. That's killed four of my pigs. And at least it wipes car out this term. It would be nice if we could introduce courtesy to the AI traffic. You know, so perhaps I could probably touch up brakes when you pull out and your back end still coming out. Instead of just, but they seem to be like Mad Max AIs. It's like the old pedestrians, you know. They're made out of concrete and cars just seem to have a death wish. I've just gone through a red light where I'm going to start drive like they do. You know, I must admit, this, this man lorry is not feeling too bad on the driving. I mean, as for... As for speed and acceleration, it's really quite nice. Seems to, like I say, accelerate a lot better than the Scania. I know quite a few of you have been wanting to see the man truck. Man truck. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I've got a weird accident. Well, a boot leg aster in front of me. You know, I can't believe I've made 10 episodes of this. And I've enjoyed every single minute of it so far. I mean, the ups and the downs and the glitches and the scrapes. And... But all in all, I've actually quite enjoyed playing this game. Can we get through while it's on green? We're, we're there, we're committed. Oh, he says having to slow down. And again, I've got live animals in back. Can't drive like a lunatic with aminals. Mind you, he doesn't seem to stop our man Martin. He, uh, oh, we're on green, not stopping for Roy Boy. I 
I'm going on the straight through drive today. I'm not doing all the old red lighters. I know I'm going to come a cropper at some point. I really shouldn't be playing chicken with pig's life, should I? I think what I'll do is I'll start paying the traffic rules because I keep forgetting I've got livestock on board. I've got to drive more responsible. I've already damaged 4% of them. Which for a start means do the speed limit, Roy. Like how you get the truck bounce on it. Really good. We've got 6 hours and 46 minutes left of driving time, so we're good on that. Mean load damaged. It's good enough. That's five percent of my pigs I've lost. Oh my god. Taver's gonna be no left when I get there. We're actually doing better driving like a maniac. Ah, the horn's working. It's always a good sign. Might need that. Just pass the old shipyard. Let's just sliver over here. Oh, I've got a car behind me, so... Gonna be on my best behaviour and we're going to single carriageway now. Can we go faster yet? Yes, we can do 60 now. I'll tell you something, it's not a slouch this when it comes to accelerating. Excuse me, people. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm actually thinking that this is, seems, feels like it's handling a little bit better as well than the Scania. We don't slate Scania's off, and I'm just going to go through a red light. Nobody's watching, apart from you guys. Oh, I believe we're getting to our little bit of stretch of motorway. We can really open her up then. I'm just press on the brake again. I've got livestock in again. Oh. Incidentally, I have bought a box trailer as well, guys, so we can switch and swap trailers. I just thought it'd be nice to do a livestock run because we haven't done one yet, so.
Let's wind her up to 80. See if she'll do it. Come on, you can do this. It does actually feel a lot better on the, uh, the open road. Getting respect now from the fellow truckers. Yeah, respect, man. No, still don't want flashing in, bless him. Never mind. Where am I going? It's actually sending me that way. Ah, it's sending us all that way, that's why. So I've shut the old road off, that's why. I'm going to have to accelerate just to give myself a numb clearance for this boss. There we go. Let's put it back on the old cruise control now. Good to go. Five hours and 40 minutes driving time. Like, oh, I've got a massage. Now then, is it wise to read your messages while you're moving? No, I don't think so. I think we'll just concentrate on what we're doing at the moment, guys. So if we do come across a rest area, we can always pull up and see how our other two drivers are going on. Make sure we're still earning us pennies. It might be that one of them's finished. Probably Martin Potts who seems to get from A to B really quick. I don't know how many speed limits he's breaking on the way, but it can get there a lot faster than what I can. Oh. Oh, there you go. Sonny DeLong employee has finished his route. I thought Sonny were a girl. Finished her route, it should be, young man. Having a bit of a gender problem here. <coughs> I ought to really check my messages because worst case scenario, it could be uh, from where I've just picked up telling me I've left a load of pigs behind. What's the easiest way to look at that is just to quickly press your tab script. Oh no, that's not a good idea. Oh, it's alright, was in turn. I actually have visions of my lorry just weaving away then on its own. I'm actually enjoying pulling this trailer, actually, it's quite nice. Ah, here we go, rest area. 90 metres. Let's have a stop in here and have a quick look. See what everybody's up to, see if we can give her old sunny she male, whatever it's according to game. Looks like a woman but game reckons it's a man. 
Right, let's pull in here and then like I said we can catch up on what's happening with everybody. I'm not going to bother parking because I'm going to be straight off, in and off again. Right, let's have a quick look. Yeah, I've definitely got all my pigs anyway. Right. Right, let's have a look. Sonny, have you finished? Have you got anything? No, right, where are you, Sonny? Sonny is there, look, in Hamburg. Right, if you want to be clever about it, then Sonny, what's here? It's from Worldwide Shipping. Somewhere like Munchen. I'll get something to get your teeth into. Yeah, that'll do. Munchen. Uh, keeps you out of mischief and how's Martin doing? Martin's down yonder he's on his way to Stuttgart so he's, he's going to be happy for quite a while Martin he's going to be running about all over the show Right, so everybody's happy, let's go for it. I can see as the game gets more complex, guys, it gets harder and harder to... Uh, you're going to end up eventually, I think, being a... What you call a truck manager. You're going to own a truck, but you're never going to actually get a chance to drive it much. They're that busy sorting your logistics out for your other drivers. Uh, as one finishes, I should say, and one will start. Come on, come on, boss. Don't be like, oh, my word. I can't believe that. I don't know. We really do need to build courtesy into this map. I mean, even... Even on the other simulators, they're like, they do move over for you when you indicate outwards. Or wait, or even break for you if you want to come out. But, you know, as a whole, AI traffic seems to pose a real problem for game developers. <laughs> I've not been on many games where it works properly, and I mean, in fact, I don't think I've ever been on any games because, I mean, even on ETS and ATS, it's got its downfalls. Um, I mean, ATS, my biggest one I can think on ETS is when you come to a roundabout, cars are so unpredictable, you just don't know where you're going. And now we're just breaking for no reason. Well, you can tit off, mate. I'm going to this lane. Great checking me, are you? Now he's off again now, look. Perhaps I did that so somebody could come up inside of me. I don't know, it might be a big plot. Oh, make your mind up. Are we going to go fast or go slow? Well, I'm with for another tech now you've had it. A nice interesting it's like someone been playing Minecraft over there on right making little boxy structures right nothing there so I'll have to pull in yeah it definitely looks like something that's been designed on Minecraft but never mind
You know, I can't even remember where we're heading for. <coughs> Dortmund, I think. Memory served me correctly. Alright, we've got to do the old loopy loopy down here. Got me tudding along at 90kmh. Slamming on them brakes. Come on, stop. Oh, I'm in wrong lane. Uh oh, boo boo dear. Just have a look, see how much further we've got to go. Do -do -do -do. Where am I? I am here. I don't even know where I'm going. Dortmund, I'm going to. Right. We've got to go all this way, yeah, right, just so we know where we're at. I've got to try and somehow sneak into that lane without them spotting me. There's one way to do it, if I just so uh, go like that now and just zip off. There's no traffic there, nobody will ever know. There you go, look. Done it. <laughs> One up for the big lorry. Yeah, um, like I said, guys, still no... Well, I've not seen any release dates yet for consoles, so... All they keep saying is it's going to be sometime this year, so that's all we can take from that. That blue car's coming down outside of me, He's trying to squeeze in, look. Yeah, I see you. You driverless, oh, he's got a driver in. Yeah, I think. I think he's tried to blend with his interior, he's dressed exactly the same colour as his car interior. Oh, maybe I could be wrong. Right, I need to go. I ain't got all day. How are we doing for fuel? Oh, we're doing well good. Again, don't seem to have to fill these up very often with fuel. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it would be nice to have it a bit more realistic when you're doing so many kilometres. They seem to be very good on fuel economy, if you understand what I mean. Incidentally, I'm just wondering if that's actually ticking up my miles. I've actually got a little 21 mile an hour. Telling me how fast I'm going in miles per hour now. Yeah, it is actually clicking miles up. That's good. Just thought I'd have a look. That'll tell me how many miles I've done in the big truck. Oh, we've got a green light, let's go. Oh, I thought I put my cruise on, but I had not. Oh, 
I hope you guys are enjoying me little farming episode that me and guys putting on for you. We're now on to episode two actually on Ersholt. I think it's Ersholt Farm or Ersholt Farm. Um, really enjoying that actually. Really nice big map, big fields. Um, so like I said, we've uh, we're into episode two where we're just finishing harvesting. Uh, episode 3 will be along shortly guys and we're also looking at perhaps starting putting a bit of content on on ATS um, me and guys have been talking about perhaps starting a career on multiplayer but obviously do it starting with nothing and basic trucks and we're building up borrowing money from the bank that sort of thing so if you if you're interested in that give that a look um and a like and then like i said we'll carry on oh is it wrong lane again this is what happens when you start talking and thinking instead of just driving uh, like i said we'll carry on with this one um oh it's got a little bit more mileage left on it yet i mean i'm actually be honest with you, enjoying playing this game at the moment. Hopefully, they'll be bringing some updates out for us shortly. Like I say, I mean, although it's going to be new to console, it has been out on PC for quite a while now. Um, 2018, I think. November, end of 2018, so it's nearly two years now we've had it out it took that long to get it to this stage so it would be nice to see him put a bit of steam in you know a bit of steam in the stride now and get on with the game properly it does still need quite a few little bits and bobs sorting on it but I dare say we're probably concentrating on uh, consolizing it if that is a word come on sprinter van get this thing gone Right, we're on the road again. Do, 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 on the road again. It's looking like I'm gonna have to run out of driving hours in a minute. I'm just like I'm gonna have to stop shortly. I've got three hours left and I don't think I'm gonna get there in three hours, guys. No, I was just sat there, I was just sort of quite enjoying the driving, I forgot we were even talking to people for a minute, sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, oh this is a nice drive, forgetting that I'm doing a recording for YouTube, just enjoying myself. Oh look, wind turbines. I was busy watching all these uh, vans whizzing past me. I seem to have one behind me that wants to drive sensibly, stayed behind me for quite a while now. Yeah, we definitely need to think about perhaps looking for a truck service to rest. Not sure how that 
cruise controls working on these lorries because it won't let me go faster than I want to. I think it's more of a speed limiter. Oh, there you go. Look, just in the nick of time. Well, I think we'll uh, we'll have a rest, guys, and we'll pick this journey up on the next episode. Well, that's if we can find somewhere to park. We'll have to have a look at that first. It looks pretty busy here today. Come on, we've got to have one space for moi. Little old moi. There we go, we've got one here, look. Right, so that was half of our first delivery. We ought to really, I'll tell you what, let me just get back in and turn the engine off. Gearbox is in neutral, you just didn't know it. Right, let's just make sure his piggies are alright. Little piggies, yeah, that one's wagging its tail. They're not going to want to be part to me all night, these guys. they be like, oh god. Stinks in Matt Lorry, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, they're fine. I love the hydraulic tail lift. I didn't know whether to let them out for a walk or not. Right. So everything's good at the moment. <coughs> so I'm going to have no more to do, guys. I'm going to start and I'm going to have a sleep sleep. Right, so good night, everybody. And we'll catch you on the next episode.